You can't escape it. There is no running away. There is no hiding. So, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Four of Wands in reverse. This is um, really affecting his family, his, his life, his happiness, his happily ever after. <laughs> I mean, there are. <laughs> but he he is well aware that the downfall is coming. The crumbs are crumbling. And uh, it's like he just wants us to all go away. We have the three of wands here in reverse. This is it's somebody who's trying to travel, who wants to get away, who wants to leave the situation, who wants to travel and flee. And to my knowledge, I think he has flown away somewhere. I don't think he's in the U.S. right now. But the fact... <laughs> All right, guys, let's tap into Jay-Z's energy. How's that boy feeling right now? Allegedly. How's he feeling, Spirit? Tell me about Jay-Z, Mr. Carter. How's he feeling? How is he feeling? You know, I definitely got opinions, but they're not strong. So I'm open. He's moving forward in some direction. He is doing a lot. There's somebody who is giving him, feeding him information. There's somebody younger than him that's giving him information. We're going to get clarifiers. It's interesting. I've never done this kind of reading. If you're new to my channel, my name's Amanda Marissa. Time to tune in, tap in, and turn on. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's get it. What do we need to know, allegedly, <laughs> about the energy surrounding Jay-Z? Yeah, there's forward momentum plus show. And that forward momentum is showing the death card. Scorpionic energy. So we have Aries, Leo, Sag. I have no idea what his sign is. I, you know, I think the less I know about these people, the better. I mean, obviously I know who Jay-Z is, but um, I don't follow him like that. Like if it was Nas, I would know more, <laughs> but you know, it's Jay-Z. Um, but I do know he's done some shady things and uh, <laughs> I do know that because I believe Dame Dash, but what I'm saying is he's about to fall. He is about to fall to his death. It's like um, the mask. Look at this death card. First off, he has a rose, and the mask is like coming off. It's all being revealed. There's something here about him being a puppet master. I know this isn't the Capricorn double energy, but there's something here about him wearing the mask and having puppets underneath him. Little puppets, minions underneath him, which makes sense, right? I mean, I'm not saying anything abnormal, <laughs> um, but there's forward momentum having to do with this death. There is forward momentum. I feel like he is trying to get away from the situation, separate from the situation as much as possible. Obviously, it makes sense. I mean, that's common sense. But I also feel like it is bound to catch up with him. It is bound that destiny, the powers that be, karma, universal law, whatever you want to call it, is coming his way and he is about to be exposed. He is about to be exposed. He has his guard up right now. Um... <laughs> because he has been victorious. He has been the leader. He has been victorious. He has been the one in charge. All lights are shining on him right now. He's not liking it. He is not liking that the lights are all, all fingers are pointing in one direction right now. And he's not the only one. He's not the top of the snake head. What else do we need to know about Jay-Z? Hmm. Okay. We have the uh, King of Cups in reverse. He is very uh, emotionally unavailable. He is definitely freaking out a little. You know, when you know the castle's crumbling and you're the emperor, shit's hit the fan. Excuse me. 
He knows that the shit has hit the fan, which is why this King of Cups is in reverse. He also just isn't compassionate about other people. There's, it's like I want to do is win, 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 no matter what. That, and I know that's not his song, but what I'm saying is, I don't think it is. Um, it's not. What I'm saying is, is this is somebody who doesn't care about other people's feelings. He doesn't care about how he has made other people feel. Even I feel like the people who work for him, I feel like he is, he is very short, very not available, not available emotionally, doesn't care, uh, has no empathy. He is definitely not tapped in. <laughs> he is not tapped in uh, at all. He's one really unhappy camper right now. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is the sun. This is freedom. This is expansion. This is growth. This is joy. It's love. It's everything you could ever want. He is not feeling very free at this time. He is feeling trapped. This unhappy feeling, he knows it's coming in swiftly and quickly. He feels this energy. I mean, he you know when the castle's crumbling and it's crumbling and he knows it. So his energy, he is not um, unaware of the shit that's about to go down. And it's huge, which is why he's trying to save his ass. It's like right now, what is that mode when you're like trying to like just keep everything afloat? Like, um, I, I don't know what the word is. I can't think of it right now. Anyways, underneath death, we have the hermit in reverse. There's no more hiding. He's going to be exposed. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. I'm good. <laughs> Watch. I'm good, allegedly. <laughs> so we have the hermit in reverse underneath death. Yeah, no. He can't hide. You can't hide no more. You wanted all the limelight and spotlight and you got it. Don't let your highs get too high. Because those lows, woo, those lows, especially when you're doing some allegedly not so great stuff. Yeah, so um, there's people that, uh, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse here underneath the Six of Wands. There's people who have stopped communicating with him. Um, th there's people who have uh, distanced themselves from the situation, so they're trying to keep... <laughs> You know, it's like everyone for themselves right now. People are trying to keep their distance. He's not getting as much information as he thought he would uh, from the people that he normally used to communicate with. I mean, you know, when you're on the top, everyone wants to talk to you. Everybody's your friend. Everybody, everybody's doing everything for you. Lots of favors. Uh, this is one of the fastest cards in the deck as far as messengers, and it's in reverse. There are people not communicating with him anymore. He may even be blocking people's communication as well not because I feel like he's not trusting a lot of people um, particularly with this hermit in reverse we have the tower coming up there is going to be a major major event that is going to take a lot of people by surprise I think not only this connection with he diddy but I also think the connection with some of the other things that he's been involved in himself um, and they all intertwine but there are some things that he is aware of that he has participated in that he has done that has been some shadiness and it's all about to crumble it's all coming down we also have the three of swords heartbreak pain suffering <laughs> he knows that it's over it's game over game over all right we're gonna get clarifiers because i'm not just gonna go off one deck you know Let's find out what else. What else is there? All right, so let's clarify. Uh, well, just give me some cards. What else do we need to know about Mr. Sean Carter? What else do we need to know about Jay-Z? What do we need to know about Mr. Jay-Z's spirit? Thank you so much for the messages because um, I appreciate this. I appreciate being a vessel. A vessel. I think I'm going to do reading on Jag. I like Jag, um, regardless of what people say about her. Uh, I like her a lot. I, lots of people have mental issues if she does. I don't know, but we all kind of do. <laughs> and if my own son died, I would have severe mental issues. I'm just saying. So I'm just saying she, I, she's, people don't know, but she's an amazing singer and, um, she hasn't been sued. 
And there's a reason for that, in my opinion. All legend. So I'd like to do one on her. What do we need to know about Jay-Z? I'd like to do one on Clive. I'd like to do one on Brandy. You can't get away, Jay. <laughs> you can't escape it. You can't escape it. There is no running away. There is no hiding. So, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Four of Wands in reverse. This is um, really affecting his family, his, his life, his happiness, his happily ever after. <laughs> I mean, that were... <laughs> but he he is well aware that the downfall is coming. The crumbs are crumbling. And uh, it's like he just wants us to all go away. We have the three of wands here in reverse. This is it's somebody who's trying to travel, who wants to get away, who wants to leave the situation, who wants to travel and flee. And to my knowledge, I think he has flown away somewhere. I don't think he's in the U.S. right now. But the fact of the matter is, is he's not going to be able to run and hide from this. There is no hiding. You're being called. <laughs> it it. I said there's universal laws, there's karmic laws, I believe in, there's spiritual laws, and I just can't believe that people, regardless of who they are, can do things to other people and get away with it. And if they do, we just don't happen to see it in our lifetime, but it catches up with you eventually. And this is the Hierophant, <laughs> as above, so below. This is a higher power calling the shots. This is like the divine God, angels, ancestors, Buddha, whatever you believe in. I feel like also in this card, you know, it's so interesting because I don't normally do these readings, but I feel like people are like, finally, like just the way he's laughing. I have goosebumps right now. Just the way he's laughing, it's it, it's almost like you thought you would get away with this. Whether this is other people or spirit or source or the divine, whatever you believe in, there are people like, finally, it, it karma does come around. Evil does not always prevail. I'm not saying he's evil, but I'm just giving you a situation. I don't know if he's evil. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just know this energy and that's not very good. So we have the um, King of Swords that came out. Eventually he's going to be talking. He's going to have to talk. <laughs> you know, there's going to have to be communication. That's why this hermit was in reverse. He can't hide. You're going to have to, he's going to have to speak up. There's some questions that need to be answered, Jay. So I don't know what you're going to say, but there there's some truth that needs to come out you know, uh, with the, with that King of Swords. Anything else about Jay-Z that we should know of right here, right now, allegedly? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no. He gets fucked up in the head right now. And what I mean by that is, it's just like, I can't believe this is actually going down. I, you know, some people get to the status and this is my opinion. Some people get to this st status where they're so high, it's like I'm untouchable. Like Diddy, like Jay-Z, like people like that, like Weinstein, right? Um, Taylor Perry and Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. So um, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is like he just can't believe that this ha is happening, that this is unfolding. Somebody in their camp, somebody knew something and turned on them, which led it down this whole rabbit hole. Somebody in the entertainment industry told on them. By them, I mean Jay-Z, I mean Diddy. And so it just opened up this door to a lot of different things. What else do we need to know about J to the is E to the is A? Is it E to the is A? I don't even know. <laughs> I know it's J to the is It's interesting to me also, you know, that correlation with Clive David. Oh, 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 oh. 
you can't escape it. You can't escape it. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry, but it's all going to come crashing down like I've said multiple times. I mean, I can't say it any clearer. The tower came out. And then looky, looky what we have here. Looky, looky. Judgment. You are being called. You are being called to the stand. You are being called to face those demons. You are being called to face yourself. To face the choices and decisions that you have made. You are being called the higher power, universe, source, spirit, God, Jesus, Buddha, whatever, whatever you want to believe in. The karmic is calling your bluff and it is time for you to be out in the full front. You wanted all the shine and all the money and all the, all the accolades. You have to know what you do in the dark is always going to come to light. And it's being called out right here, right now. Holy moly, free holy. That's a lot of cards. The Hierophant's on top, though, again. And it came out in reverse again. You can't hide. You can't hide. This is, this is the divine, again, making sure that you are going to be responsible to answer some questions about some situations in your part in certain things and there's no escaping it. There's no escaping it. Doesn't matter how much money you have. All right, one more card. What else do we need to know about Mr. J to the Izzo? What else? Wow, that's a lot. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Love don't live here anymore. It's just a fantasy. Love don't look at how she's playing that guitar. Let me put it up right. The guitar is a heart. <laughs> it's, going, it's sorrow. It is like woe is me. It is the low down feeling. Whew. Page of Pentacles. People not coming together, or people not wanting to work with him right now. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, feeling trapped. <laughs> Six of Swords, trying to flee the rough waters, trying to leave this situation. Well, that's the energy for today. And energy is always changing and people have free will and things change. But I have never done a reading like this before. It's kind of actually fun. I didn't think I would like it because I don't really pay attention to pulp stuff. Obviously, I know rap and R&B. It's just my genre, you know. But besides that, I don't I don't like watch gossipy stuff. I don't I don't care about it. I don't care about Beyonce and never have I've never liked her either it, it nothing to do with this like for years my friends are like why don't you like her why don't you like Rihanna and it's I just never have gotten good feelings from either one of them um and that's my own personal opinion lots of people love them both I just I just don't and I never have and um you know I'm not saying that my opinion even matters because it really doesn't. But I'm saying this to say when I do these readings, I really don't have that deep of an investment on any of these people. Um, I don't really care. I'm not uh, a fan of any of them. I'm a fan of two people, Prince and Nas. That's it. And I'm not crazy over Nas. Prince, I'm I'm crazy fan. Crazy fan. Love Prince. Man, he called out the industry from the jump. All right, guys. Anyways, I hope you like this. Let me know down below what your thoughts are, what you think. Am I crazy for doing this? Allegedly, all this information, allegedly. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down below and definitely subscribe. Tell me if you want more of this kind of stuff because I'll definitely deliver if it's what you like.